atom is the basic unit of matter. Its discovery started when philosophers became curious of the origin of matter. Modern scientists came up with different theories that describe the structure of an atom. And later on, some chemists became well known because of their contributions in the study of atomic structure. In this video lesson, we will name and describe the subatomic particles. Atoms are best described through different atomic models. After a series of experiments, models have revealed the composition of an atom, which is primarily made up of three subparticles, namely proton, electron, and neutron. A proton has an electric charge of positive 1 and is said to be stable by itself. It is a fairly heavy particle and resides in the dense nucleus of an atom. An electron has an electric charge of negative 1. Electrons are much smaller than neutrons and protons. They are found revolving somewhere outside the nucleus. A neutron has no electric charge. This means that it is neither positive nor negative. Both proton and neutron make up the nucleus of an atom, which is located in its center. Almost all of the mass in an atom comprise the proton and neutron in the nucleus. Each element has a distinct number of protons. This is known as the atomic number. Atomic number has a symbol Z. This unique number also represents the number of electrons in the same element. This means that all atoms of a given element have the same number of electrons and protons. No two elements have the same atomic number. The mass of an atom is based on the weight of the protons and neutrons in the nucleus. Therefore, the sum of the numbers of protons and neutrons in a given atom gives the mass number. We use uppercase A as a symbol of atomic mass. Atoms of the same element may have the same atomic number but different atomic mass. These kinds of atoms are called isotopes. This is because the isotope of an element have different numbers of neutrons. Isotopes are identified by their mass number. For neutral atom, the atomic number is equal to the number of protons which is also equal to the number of electrons. The mass number of an atom is equal to the sum of the number of protons and neutrons. So, if you will find the number of neutrons in the atom, we can simply subtract the mass number from the atomic number. For example, let us consider the atom of a lithium. Looking at the symbols, lithium has the atomic number of 3 and the mass of 6.94 or 7. This means that the lithium has a total of 3 protons and 3 electrons. How do we get the number of neutrons of lithium? Simply subtract the number of protons from its atomic mass. This means that the lithium has 4 neutrons. Let's have another example. A platinum is one of the most malleable metals. It has 78 protons and 170 neutrons. Since the atomic number is equal to the number of protons and electrons, we can note that the number of protons and electrons are 78. To find the mass number, we can just add the number of protons and neutrons together, which is equal to 195. Therefore, the mass number of a platinum atom is 195. Now, let's check your comprehension. Fill out the table below. You may pause the video for more time. Here's the answer. If you like more of science videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.